Hello, hello, Mordimers here and welcome to another gameplay by the famous people and I show you already on my channel the games played by Vladimir Lenin, Joseph Stalin, Bill Gates, Napoleon Bonaparte and so on. Uh, this time I would like to show you the game of Boris Becker and it's not gonna be the tennis game. So uh, for those you don't know, Boris Becker actually was a tennis player in 80s and 90s. He was one of the best uh, players in the world. However, in 2011 during the London chess exhibition he had the chance to play against Nigel Short the chess game against Nigel Short uh, nowadays he is the vice president of FIDE but he was the pretender to the world champion title so actually uh, he played the match um, against Gary Kasparov to win the world champion title he couldn't beat Gary however definitely Nigel Short is one of the best players in the chess history so uh, this is the picture from that event and if you are interested in the video of this game uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description and also and at the end of this video uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the bubble just as the reminder so uh, without further ado let's see what happened uh, on the board Boris Becker as white open with e4 we have e5 knight f3 knight c6 bishop b5 so definitely Boris Becker has some knowledge of the openings of the principles a6 we would have the Murphy defense knight f6 Berlin defense however uh, grandmasters when they play against amateurs usually uh, they choose some you know more fancy rare lines and now we have f5 Schliemann defense quite aggressive attacking the e4 pawn and now what white should answer is something like d3 uh, knight c3 these are the most popular answers however we have have bishop takes on c6 and okay we have d takes on c6 this of course is still playable and now i thought okay so um, the amateur if he took the, the the knight on c6 probably he will not take the pawn on e5 and if that happened then we would have queen d4 with the attack on the on the knight Knight is under attack, so Knight would have to retreat. Now, Queen h5, it looks like very, very juicy. However, it would not work because this Queen actually will protect the, the Rook on, on h8. So all of this is not possible in this variation. Knight f3 would have to be played and after Queen e4, exchange the Queens and continue the game. Black stands slightly better. So I thought, okay, uh, if Boris Becker is an amateur, maybe he just removed the defender of the, of the pawn, but no. Uh, he played e takes on f5 and he probably calculated okay bishop gonna take on f5 and we can continue the game however nigel short played the best move in the position e4 kicking the knight and now what to do we have actually over uh, almost 50 games in the database where we get the disposition and then after knight d4 we have queen e5 attacking the knight and then knight retreat to f3 and of course the pawn is pinned so uh the queen retreat to e7 and this is actually threefold repetition so this is variation if you need the draw that you can play that variation for example uh, however we have knight e5 by boris becker uh, already threatening some like something like queen h5 because the knight controls g6 and the pawn controls g6 so definitely boris becker uh, played some some games and he knows some some interesting uh, maneuvers as well we have bishop f5 now defending g6 so it's not really possible now to do that uh, and he here again Boris Becker go for the sum of the principles and he castle so uh, move the king to the safety and now again Nigel Short plays the best move in the position Queen D4 and now the knight is actually trapped maybe not trapped but knight G4 we have only one game in the database where knight g4 was played however after castle the problem is black has a really great development this knight gonna gonna be developed the bishop gonna be developed very easily and on the white side how to develop that bishop this queen and this pawn uh, are very very nasty and uh, white gonna have a huge problems but Boris Becker is not interested in defending his position. He goes all in. Queen h5 with the check 
an attack on the bishop so we have a pretty nice fork and now the point is if the bishop goes to g6 the problem is black would actually lose the rook and the game uh, but Nigel Short of course is too experienced and he played g6 and now this pawn is defended by the bishop but also uh, by the pawn now the knight is under attack the queen is under attack what to do so Boris Becker went for knight g6 and now bishop g6 is of course possible however h takes on g6 is much more precise because there is the open semi-open h file so uh, black comes with the open file with tempo queen is under attack so we have queen e2 and now bishop d6 again developing with tempo uh, focusing on h2 we have g3 defending that however now we have light squares problem with the light square's weaknesses and white doesn't have the light square bishop anymore and black still can bring the bishop to h3 for now uh, it was possible to finish the game in the fancy style with the sacrifice by nigel short he could go for bishop g3 quite fancy h takes on g3 and rook h3 would win the game this pawn gonna be uh, gonna be lost if white tries to defend uh, then the problem is queen h8 and now we're gonna have some mating nets so the only way to escape actually is to making a space for the for the king uh, but after rook h2 king f1 rook h1 then uh, there is also the checkmate queen h3 is coming so d3 would make a space for the king but it's not enough because after queen h3 king e1 rook g1 king d2 now black gonna win the game maybe not with the immediate mad mate uh, but black of course have the completely you know winning and dominant position uh, also you know uh, extra rook should be enough to win the game uh, however nigel short didn't calculate you know such a variation and he simply castle he has a lot of time he put the king into the safety uh, and now boris becker uh, kick the queen first so we have c3 the queen moves from this diagonal so we have queen d5 and now continuing the plan f5 it was not possible before because of the queen but boris becker had this plan now the problem is he opened this diagonal so we have bishop c5 and now how to continue this bishop together with the queen are very very powerful we have d4 blocking the the bishop but now uh en passant d e takes on d3 with check so the queen is under attack we have the check so not much white can do in this position we have queen f2 and now bishop h3 threatening the checkmate in the next move and white actually cannot do anything about that prolonging uh, one move was possible with something like bishop e3 but then of course bishop would take on e3 and the game would end it uh, so boris becker pick up the bishop and now Nigel short deliver a checkmate so that was the game and again this is the link now you can check if you are interested in the video check the uh, king's crusher channel and uh, and yeah if you like this video press like if for some reason you don't like this video press unlike and if you want to see more interesting games on my channel press subscribe smash the bell button thanks for watching and see you in the next one